The Lady Rickman Blue Throated Macaw Reserve Nest Box Program has reached a remarkable milestone. Since its inception in 2006, a total of 145 chicks have fledged, signaling a beacon of hope for the survival of this critically endangered species. The Laney Rickman Blue Throat Macaw Reserve, established in 2018, spans 6,000 acres within the Beni Savannah ecoregion. Located 26 miles south of Trinidad and 132 miles south of the Barbasul Nature Reserve, this protected area is crucial for the conservation of two isolated subpopulations of the Blue Throat Macaw. The 2024 breeding season yielded impressive results. With 12 breeding attempts, 33 eggs were laid, and 21 chicks successfully hatched. The highlight of this season was the record-breaking 17 chicks that fledged, surpassing last year's record of 15. This achievement is a testament to the success of the Nest Box program in providing a nurturing environment for these macaws. This season, despite a slight drop in nest occupancy, the fledging rates were higher. Three nest boxes each produced three chicks, and both egg and chick mortality rates have decreased compared to previous years. Notably, for the first time, no egg predation was recorded. However, the predation of two chicks by a pair of tairas served as a reminder of the ongoing challenges in protecting these birds. Out of the 128 nest boxes installed, 11 were occupied by blue-throated macaws, including three used for the first time. The 11 nest boxes occupied by the blue throated macaw for 2024 were Nest Box CM2, adopted by Andrew McGuire. This box had two nesting attempts. The first breeding attempt had three eggs, which were found broken later. The second breeding attempt was successful, with three eggs laid, resulting in one chick that developed normally. Nest Box RF, adopted by Merrill and Roy Friedman. This nest box was initially used by a chopy blackbird breeding two chicks. Two blue-throated macaws eggs were found a month later, on January 29th. A total of four eggs were laid, the fourth one laid when chicks were hatching. Three chicks developed successfully until fledging. Nest box SZ2, adopted by Earth Limited at Southwick Zoo, one of three nests this year that successfully fledged three chicks. The first egg was found early on in the year on January 10th. A total of four eggs were laid by January 25th. By February 22nd, three healthy chicks had hatched. Nest box CZ, adopted by Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, out of three eggs, one chick successfully hatched and developed until fledging. All eggs were laid by January 8th and the only chick hatched by February 2nd. Nest box KCZ8, adopted by Kansas City Zoo and Aquarium. A successful nest with one chick fledging after May 2nd Two eggs were laid by January 19. One chick hatched and developed normally. Nest box ABC, adopted by ABC Bird Store. This nest has been used by blue throated macaws for five years in a row. Three eggs were registered by December 20th, 2023. All eggs hatched, but sadly one chick did not develop. Two chicks fledged after May 22nd. <coughs> Nest box PSDS adopted by Andy Sanford in memory of Peggy Sanford and Dot Slater. A successful nest with one chick fledging after a normal development. One egg was found on January 29th. The single chick hatched by February 26th. The chick fledged after May 15th. Nest box BH1, adopted by Brenton Head. This is the second year this nest has been used by blue-throated macaws. While, unfortunately, no chicks fledged last year, this year saw success with two chicks successfully fledging. 
Three eggs were laid by December 31st, all of which hatched. Out of the three hatchlings, only two developed to the fledging stage. Nest box JB adopted by Dorothy Patterson in memory of Dr. Janice Boyd. This nest was used for the first time since installed in 2021. One of the three successful nests with three chicks fledging after April 10th. To sponsor a nest box, please visit Bird Endowment's website at birdendowment.org. Sponsors may specify two initials for each nest box and optionally designate a tribute in honor of or in memory of a colleague or loved one. Each $300 sponsorship for one year directly supports Armonia's costs associated with refurbishing the nest boxes and construction of new ones if needed, as well as field work and monitoring all crucial aspects of this conservation effort. The occupancy trend between blue-throated macaws and blue and yellow macaws has remained consistent, with the latter showing significantly lower rates. This shift has reduced competition for nesting sites, creating more opportunities for blue-throated macaws to thrive. While conflicts between species decreased this year, competition among blue-throated macaw pairs defending their nest was intense. Contrary to the reputation as a docile species, we have witnessed how fiercely blue-throated macaws can be while defending their nests and offspring. Camera trap monitoring has provided invaluable insights into their nesting behaviors and interactions with potential predators further emphasizing both the success and ongoing challenges of the program. One notable incident involved a particularly defensive white-throated piping guan, which displayed aggression towards a nesting blue-throated macaw, although no serious fight arose. The success of the Laney Rickman Blue Throated Macaw Reserve Nest Box Program serves as a beacon of hope for the future of these magnificent birds. Please consider supporting Armonia's Blue Throated Macaw conservation efforts. Armonia works to protect habitat, Beni Savannah species, and restoration of habitat in the Beni Savannah area.